Um, I tried, I ended up ordering a lemonade today okay. simply because they didn't have any coffee. I was really trying to order, I think what's maybe your favorite drink, the iced Americano. I just thought since you yourself are a, a formerly an iced Americano, uh -huh. I, I don't have to spell it out for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you already do. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> Good afternoon from Universal Islands of Adventure for a Marvel superhero dining experience. Weird, I know, but let's head inside. Now, I think this may go without saying, the Marvel dining experience is over in Marvel Island here at Islands of Adventure. I don't know, I thought I'd just point that out for you guys in case you didn't know. One of the major questions I always try to answer for dining experiences here in the theme parks is, what's the cost? This was $56 for adults and I think around 30-ish for children, I don't know. I'm not a child, I don't have children. But I mean, for character dining, that's honestly not so bad compared to Disney prices, you know? Now, if you're wondering where this dining experience is itself, it's right here at the Fantastic Four Cafe. Normally during the day, it's a regular quick service location, but for dinner, it turns into this character meet and greet dining buffet. And we're gonna see exactly what it's like today. And without further ado, Let's head inside. First impressions of the space, it's literally obviously the same exact space during the day as it is right now for quick service. They just have some like nicer silverware and that's totally fine. We're gonna probably get in line right now for the food itself because we know right as soon as the characters come around it's going to be a madhouse in here. So let's try and get some food out of the way first. So far from what I can tell from this quality of the food at least is that it's kind of on the same level as like a cruise ship maybe like a carnival cruise ship not in a bad way but it's honestly better than what I expected coming from a theme park buffet in general I've gotten food poisoned by many a uh, buffets before so I'm a little skeptical but I'm hoping this will be okay today. <laughs> We've made it back from the buffet. Check out the spread. I'm most excited for these fingerling potatoes. And this mac and cheese honestly looks really, really good compared to most other theme park mac and cheese. There's some nice, uh, what is this? Beef something? Beef. Beef. Under there, it's kind of hidden. Fruit. A lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. This is good. What the heck? <laughs> if you watched our past vlog, we were over at Ohana for their character breakfast. My tactic is going to be the same here, making sure I have a good tripod set up so that these character interactions are recorded because they do like approach you really quick and you have no idea that they're coming. So, Kristen, are you ready to meet some characters? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a notes app ready with a bunch of puns and jokes and I told her she's not allowed to copy me this time. She did it last time. Okay. It's gonna be complete silence from me over here. <laughs> it depends. You mute me. Um, I do have some mutations myself, and I'd like to show you. I have three specific mutations. I have three X's on my leg. Does this count as me joining? Can I possibly join these? Yeah, three X's can mean something a lot different. Uh, well, listen. This that that only means that I don't. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Stuff like that, which is good. It's great for all all the mutants and I'm sure that might be a role in the school uh, <laughs> but yeah, we might need someone to help you with your stuff I talked to this guy he's the self-appointed leader I, he makes all the decisions. that's what I heard that's oh, what I heard <laughs> so I pretty much nailed my first character interaction no biggie you know Spider-Man's here he's the main event I have so many jokes written for Spider-Man <laughs> so I've already started digging in on this food and honestly I'm shocked of like the quality of this. Um, this is a lot higher than I expected. These tater tots are almost equivalent with the Minion tater tots at the new Minion Cafe. This whole spread, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I, we're also like the five o'clock seating and it goes until 8.30 or something like that. So I guess all the stuff is super fresh. That might be part of it. I'm surprised they didn't install storm doors to this restaurant. That would be smart, right? Listen, my ride is right around the corner. Okay. Every time you're ready, you have to beat Magneto. I'm just saying. I, 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 we might try after this meal, is but... Is this your, like, superhero food? Yeah, I, I, I need to. I need to plus it up a little bit. I know this is not the best fuel, but also I'm trying to ride your ride afterwards, and this is the most hearty stuff that won't... Yeah, don't. You don't want to get on my ride right now. No, I do not. 
<laughs> exactly. I actually, a legitimate, really, really funny story. I took my mom on that ride growing up, and she, well, for some reason, we didn't show her where, like, that it was a spinning ride, and she hates spinning rides. And the entire time, me and my brothers would be like spinning it super, super fast. She had no idea, and was we were in big trouble. We were big troublemakers. She didn't like me, she liked you. No, it was it was definitely me. It was all me. <laughs> Brian was the troublemaker. I was definitely the troublemaker. <laughs> I think uh, Captain America is coming here next. Uh, who plays Captain America in the movies, Kristen? I'm scared to guess. I'm scared to Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Voted hottest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> By Ryan. <laughs> By Ryan, by me, myself. I have a poll every single year and I have a ranking. Most people love doing the like, the what's the, the college basketball thing? The March Madness. March Madness, I do a hottest male superhero <laughs> bracket. Not really. Um, I tried, I ended up ordering a lemonade today okay. simply because they didn't have any coffee. I was really trying to order, I think what's maybe your favorite drink, the iced Americano. Americano. Yeah. That would be something that is contrary to popular belief. I'm not a coffee guy. You're not a coffee not guy. Not a coffee guy. There's something along the lines of having that that coffee flavor. Whatever comes from the bean there, everything tastes the same. Like you got your mocha your frappuccinos, your everything today, your Americanas, all of that borderline tastes the same exactly. I just thought since you yourself are a, a formerly an iced Americano, uh -huh. I, I don't have to spell it out for yeah, you. I'm yeah. sure you already do. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Maybe I, let them know in the back. Oh uh, yeah, Coffee I'll, would I'll, be great. I'll try, to, I'll try to submit some sort of form to let them know that's not served. Okay, okay. Or okay. in this case, you know, for your favorite taste. Go ahead, sir. While we are waiting for the next character, I do want to just say um, this food is like, way way better than we expected we can i say we is that okay for now i'm my mouth is full but yes and um honestly there's not a lot of opportunity to go up and get more because there's so much going on and if i guess if you're trying to limit what you're eating at a theme park at a buffet setting this is definitely i don't know i we're only halfway through and i'm already thinking that it's like for sure worth it you know probably if i could choose a super high uh, hero power would be like teleportation. Teleportation. That is, yeah. You know what? I wish I had that as well too. I just like to go places. Yep. I feel that. So you get wait. there instantly. Yeah. Well, we got that jet too. We also got storm. So if we ever need With to get With the snap of a finger. Snap of a finger. Yeah, that would be. Did you get that joke? That was good, huh? What? What do you mean? We don't Making acknowledge. We don't. We don't joke about that. <laughs> yeah. That's very you know serious. What? We would have gotten the situation taken care of. They just called the X Men. You know, you know, I do have one more question real quick. Okay. Um, the Fantastic Four mobile that's out there, uh, do they allow you to park that in valet when you come here to work? Because sometimes we pull up to valet and it's full. And I'm it it makes me see red, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty upset. <laughs> and I pay for that premium annual pass. Yes. And I can't I can't park valet. You, know? you can't park. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, I'll talk to the Fantastic Four and see if we can give you that prime parking spot over there. That is that is way they've, prime. They've they've left their car here for a while now, so we're wondering if they're gonna come pick it back up. Something that probably not a lot of other people that do vlogs in um, restaurants are gonna kind of acknowledge is the like weird awkward moment when they walk up. And then we have to like get our cameras out and ready. Because I don't know. I want to be able to document this dining experience and that's kind of the only way to be able to do the full experience. And also like knowing which side of the table they're gonna pop up on. They don't seem to have a lot of like specific like a path like they do for Disney where it's like, oh, they're guaranteed to be in this spot. Um, but honestly, like it's so great. Every interaction has been really positive. Spider-Man keeps getting caught up, but we and we really want to meet Spider-Man. I got like eight jokes for Spider-Man. As we're recording this little clip, right next to us, these kids are so excited to see Spider-Man. They're having the most magical time ever. They don't care that this is Universal and not Disney. They don't care that it has the extra like sprinkles of magic everywhere. Because this is like, unfortunately we have to admit that these character dining experiences are is for kids, correct? This is for adults. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, it is because there's two adults sitting at a table right here. I know, but what I'm saying is like, 
if you're talking about like worth the money or you're talking about like Disney versus Universal for these types of things, it doesn't matter. The kids aren't going to care if the pizza has enough sauce or not. They're here to see Spider Man. <laughs> They're here, they're not going to- Actually, if you ain't for the kids, this is for the adults. You definitely have more kids that watch your channel than mine. I will guarantee you that. You, you got like little tweens watching your channel. I say bad words on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry parents. <laughs> I think I might have to leave that in. <laughs> As we were distracted with everything else, um, I ate all my food. I didn't touch the meat because I'm a little afraid of this meat. And almost every time I get food poisoned at a buffet, it's because of the meat. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Someone I was hoping to see, but unfortunately is not here today, is Thor. But it, it does make sense because it's currently a Sunday and not a Thor's day. Hey, you guys are going by Orlando. Oh. I think that very exotic. Yeah. Yeah. And are you celebrating anything? Is it fun? We're just here to celebrate um, our favorite superheroes. I love that. <laughs> I do that too. I know. There should be more of that going on. I agree. <laughs> But uh, I wish I wish we could celebrate with more friends. My uh, my wife is not here right now, but she's in a very similar field as you. She's a she's a web developer, and I knew you also do some development I do of some webs. Web developing. Yes. I understand. But uh, but Yeah, there you go. <laughs> web developer developing webs. You she, have to do my right here while you're here. Honestly, okay. not today. I don't. I don't think after this food we can. I know. It's, it's, Your it's ride not, makes me a little sick. Uh, you know. I mean, it isn't for the faint of heart. It or is faint not. of stomach. Yeah. Best, best dark ride in the world. I, and I know it's it's amazing. Just take out dark and just. Just red ride. Okay. Well, Velocicoasters at this part too. So. Yeah. I can't. That's, that's kind of getting close to where mine is. Yeah. Spider-Man was probably one of the best interactions we had so far. But I think I, he's standing right over here, but I think I recognize who's under that mask. There's a, I met a photographer in New York one time. His name's Peter, Peter Parker, I think. I think that might be him, he has like the same exact voice. And last but not least, we have, of course, the most important part of the meal, the dessert, which we have a chocolate chip cookie standard, and we have a, like, Velvet, red velvet. It looks chocolate in this video because of lighting, but it's a red velvet. It is? No way. No way. This is red velvet. This is not chocolate. But red velvet is chocolate dyed red. Okay, well, lying sister is lying to me again. There's no way red velvet is chocolate. It's red velvet. Anyways, we're gonna try some red velvet cupcake. Yeah. Are you um, are you worried at all about J. Jonah Jameson showing up here like for like filming of Undercover Boss or anything like that? Because I know there's some other people around here that might work for him and I just I would be afraid of that happening and I just don't want to get anybody. I don't think J. Jonah Jameson ever even thinks to leave his office. Oh. He just sends other people out. <laughs> but Who's I, that? Who's J. Jonah Jameson? Well, he's in charge of the Daily Bugle. Oh, okay. He's, he, so, Spider-Man, you know? The guy who sent us. The guy who sent us. No, no, we are not. No. We do not work for the day. No, absolutely not. Oh, you We're, don't work indep for the day Independent day. organizations, but we are not part of any large newspapers or blogs. or. I trick you. <laughs> I'm just, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Trying to. <laughs> she was definitely trying to keep it low key, but I just, I, I just revealed her true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so far, we've had a stellar review of this place, but I will say, I'll be completely honest. This, these desserts are definitely leaving more to be desired. This is not the best. Um, icing's fine. I don't know. It's hard to do desserts in a buffet style because it sits out for how long and they were probably refrigerated before that, but that's just the reality of food service, so these weren't the best. Now, this Marvel superhero dining experience was honestly a lot, a lot better than I expected. We planned doing this last night because a few days ago I was passing by here at Islands Adventure and I realized, wait, there's a dinner dining character experience here and we haven't done it yet? Well, obviously we're doing that and lo and behold, 24 hours later, we're here doing it. I don't know, I'm just very, I'm very, very happy with how it ended up being. Not only because it's, you know, 
a character dining, and I love character dining now, clearly. But also, it brings a very, very much needed variety to some more, I guess, stale dining options because there's not a lot of sit-down places in the parks here at Universal, and Mythos is really the only, like, considered good one. And this is honestly really, really good. And it was $56, I think I said that before, but that's definitely, definitely worth the money with the amount of characters. You saw all of our character inter interactions. Every single team member involved in this whole project was really, really kind, nice. It was really good. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting one because I didn't think I was gonna give it such a stellar review. And I think Kristen is kind of feeling the same way. Let's check in with her and see how that is. The theme of the day is pleasantly surprised Ryan probably already said this but like I expected this to probably be like the worst character dining the worst buffet I've ever been to and it definitely wasn't I was pleasantly surprised by the character interactions the food was it, the food wasn't anything to like write home about but it was all good like it, better than expected um, but yeah I really enjoyed it if you have like kids that love Marvel or you yourself love Marvel um, that's definitely a spot that you should check out. Me, as someone who has never seen any Marvel movies and does not care about Marvel at all, I still really enjoyed it. However, I see no need to go back just because I don't like Marvel. But if you like Marvel, check it out. Before we head out today, I do want to head back into Marvel Island to tell you guys one more thing. I know some of you might be a little curious why Disney owns Marvel and it's here at Universal Studios Florida. Well. Story time, guys. <laughs> Back in 1998, 1999, when Universal was building Islands of Adventure, their goal was to have every single island be themed after a different piece of literature, whether it be a old novel, a wives' tale, a, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> or comic books. Now, one of the main goals was to have a superhero land. They were originally wanting to go with the DC Comics brand, because at the time in 1999, it was so much more massive than Marvel was. Obviously, that's not the case now, but they were actually in talks with DC to the point where they were developing a Batman ride to go here, a Batman coaster dark ride type thing. It ended up not working out for a really weird reason. DC was not willing to give Universal the exclusive rights to the DC superheroes. At the time, they already had some of the superheroes in place at Six Flags, all the Six Flags parks. They said, no, well, we're not going to give you the exclusive right. And they said, okay, that's fine. We'll use Marvel instead. And let me tell you, according to rumor, they got an amazing deal with Marvel. One of the major specifics of this deal was that Universal had exclusive rights to Marvel this side of the Mississippi River. I know that sounds weird, but on the east side of the Mississippi, this was the only park, or Universal was the only parks that they could have Marvel characters in. Now, we do not know exactly how long that contract is for, but as of 2023, Marvel is still here and not at Disney here in Florida. Now, hold up, hold your horses before you type in the comics. Let me say, the reason that they could have Guardians of the Galaxy over at Epcot is because the Guardians of the Galaxy are not a major character that's featured in this land itself. But Hulk, Spider-Man, any of the major main Avengers are not gonna be able to be featured. The Guardians of the Galaxy can because they're not a major staple here at Islands of Adventure. Again, we have no idea how long this contract lasts for, but that's just the story. That's what everybody's talking about. I mean, not everybody, because I'm sure some of you don't know this exact story, but just thought I'd fill you in. I don't know if this was actually recorded on video or not, but Storm recommended we ride her ride, and I said we would. So Kristen and I are gonna be riding Storm Force Accelitron. No, no, you're riding it, you're riding it, come on. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> I didn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, this is so uncomfortable. So this is the only way that I can really film myself on a ride. This might be the only ride at Universal that I could film myself on. Uh, because they don't allow filming on these rides at Universal. I hope this mic is picking me up. Um, but this is the ultimate challenge because I just ate the most amount of mac and cheese and uh, grilled cheese. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Kristen should be in here with me. Kristen, you still have time. You want to join? Yes, you do. She said yes. You can't hear her because the mic's over here. Here we go. I'm going to try my best to talk over this copyright music. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The trick is to just stare at the center 
and not pay attention to the exterior. And I can't even see where Kristen is now. Oh, hi. Definitely, I do not recommend doing this after the, oh my God. Okay, okay. Oh God. Oh. I hope this is a good ending to this video. Is this worth it? Was this worth it? Was this worth it for the content? I don't think so. Okay. That's it. That's that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for making me do that storm. Uh, I'll get you back one day. <laughs> for your troubles. Thanks.